roadmap for hard to abate industries, a roadmap for moving the hard to abate industries from energy efficiency targets to emission targets will be formulated. Appropriate regulations for transition of these industries from the current perform, achieve, and trade mode to Indian carbon market mode will be put in place. Support to traditional micro and small industries. An investment grade energy audit of traditional micro and small industries in 60 clusters, including brass and ceramic, will be facilitated. Financial support will be provided for shifting them to cleaner forms of energy and implementation of energy efficiency measures. The scheme will be replicated in another 100 clusters in the next phase. Priority seven, infrastructure investment by central government. Significant investment the central government has made over the years in building and improving infrastructure has had a strong multiplier effect on the economy. We will endeavor to maintain strong fiscal support for infrastructure over the next five years in conjunction with imperatives of provided 11 lakh 11,111 crore rupees for capital expenditure. This would be 3.4% of our GDP infrastructure investment by state governments. We will encourage states to provide support of similar scale for infrastructure subject to their development priorities. A provision of 1.5 lakh crore rupees for long-term interest-free loans have been made this year also to support private investment in infrastructure. Investment in infrastructure by private sector will be promoted through viability gap funding and enabling policies and regulations. A market-based financing framework will be brought out. out. Phase four of the PMGSY will be launched to provide all weather connectivity to 25,000 rural habitations, which have become eligible in view of their population increase. Irrigation and flood mitigation. Bihar has frequently suffered from floods, many of them originating outside the country. Plans to build flood control structures in Nepal are yet to progress. Our government, through the accelerated irrigation benefit program and other sources, will provide financial support for projects with estimated cost of 11,500 crore rupees, such as the Kosi Michi Intrastate Link and 20 other ongoing and new schemes, including barrages, river pollution abatement, and irrigation projects. In addition, survey and investigation of COSI-related flood mitigation and irrigation projects will be undertaken.